I suppose we could watch it. But anyway, Dalton Castle is out for 2024. I've done one of these things where I've forgotten to format the deal and like have it to AW and WWE I mean, and whatever. What do, what do you do on your time off? You me? Don't you work on this show? You're presuming I've got time off. <laughs> this is AEW footage. Yes, it is. So anyway, I'm going to mute it because oh, hang on. Do you know I'm not going to mute it? They're they're bitches. Ah, it's tough shit. And if you show this, they might do that takedown. Well, the problem is it's oh. fair use, and I'm allowed to use it because we're watching it for the purpose of criticism or critique. And if they want to attempt to take it down, then I will take them to fucking court. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. So there's two things really to talk about there. Let's let's examine the knee lift first. I've got to be honest, when I saw that, it didn't look particularly bad. But if I scrub can't, it frame by frame... Can't you, can't, can't you hear it? Not when I'm scrubbing it frame by frame, but you can no. see his head. And you can see it there. He got wrong. Yep. But in full frame, it doesn't really look like he connects with him. Here's, here it is again. Mm. And the reason this looks odd is they, it's an edit. It is, yeah. So uh, the referee actually stopped counting. He then, did a he did a Damien Priest here. He forgot to kick out. Yeah. Well, he didn't forget to kick out. I, I think he forgot to do. Well, what's happened? Gone. There we go. So one more Ooh. time for the weird edit. Wow. One, two, and <laughs> there we go for the literally. <laughs> fans in the front there i mean i know it's just the lighting but collision's lighting is horrendous dynamite's not as bad and the pay-per-views aren't as bad because they've got more fans in but look how dark it is mm -hmm. anyway something that we harp on about a lot right so he's gonna <laughs> here's the amazing thing dutch he's gonna be out for the rest of the year right yeah but not because of that amazingly really yeah what's wrong with him what's wrong with dalton castle good question we don't know he picked up a separate injury in that same match that is going to see him out for the rest of 2024. He was knocked out, but he was not concussed. Hmm. Well, see, that's what I'm, we, were, we were talking earlier about <clears throat> wrestlers have all these injuries, and I think their body ages faster than ordinary people. That it that We have to. Because I think we we live two or three lifetimes. Not yeah, that's just a saying I know, but we're everywhere in different time zones, and after a while, that does take a an effect on you. And uh, but getting hurt like that and getting your bell rung, see, most people go through life never be, having being knocked out. After you play football and some other sports, yeah, you may take a shot to the head, you may get may get concussed. But you know how many times I've, I've, I've been knocked out? It's either once or twice. I know it was once in Japan. Oh, God. I'm, I, I'm still reeling from that. Yeah. Hey, we need to show that one time. Uh, yeah, we should do. Uh, what about the other? Were there any other times? Oh, yeah. I just can't remember them. One time I'm working with this guy, Ted Oates, who I broke in with in Georgia a lifetime ago. And we were in Savannah, Georgia, and had a really strong ring light and had a good crowd in there that night. And all of a sudden, our heads hit, and we both got knocked out. We were both laying there knocked out, and I went, whoa, what the hell? And then I heard him say something, We and I don't even remember finishing matches, uh, the match, or nor does he. I asked Ted later, I said, do you remember finishing this match? He said, no, and I, I don't either. Then I was so knocked out, I went the wrong way when I left the ring, and somebody else, the cop, had to say, hey, no, you got to go this way. But that was one time I got knocked out. I got <clears throat> knocked out several more times working with some of these stiff-ass bastards that just thought just because they had the body <laughs> that they – but they had the power – but didn't know how much power they had. And I, I, I swear to God, some of these guys, I've been in easier street fights 
than having a match with them. And we'll, we'll talk about a guy a little bit later, Doug Furness. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to talk about him. And they had another guy named Brockus. Oh, we've talked about Brockus before, yeah. God, I might. I, if I'd have had a gun, I swear to God, I, I should have went down during the match, not after the match, but during the match, I should have went and got the gun and just shot his kneecap. I said, well, your cell is. <laughs> <laughs> What I was getting at is with Dalton Castle, so he's going to be out for the rest of 2024, but... But he's he's a, getting paid. Yeah, probably. Uh, this is like one of four injuries in a week for AEW. So they have Sky Blue suffered a broken ankle, giving, I must say, it looked like nothing. A crossbody block from the middle rope to the outside. On t- and um, uh, Was, was she the catcher or she was a giver? She was the diver. She was the okay. diver. She just landed, and then somehow she broke her ankle. Jay White wow. suffered a foot injury a week earlier, causing the Bang Bang Gang to forfeit the AEW Trios titles. And in a continuation, for the AEW Trios titles, the Vaker ones, the Patriarchy of Christian Killswitch and Nick Wayne won those titles the next week. But then Killswitch, who was the former Luchasaurus, suffered a partially torn biceps, who will be working through that injury at least. But it's like... It's just a. I'm not even sure it's, it's particularly, you know, doing horribly dangerous stuff. It just seems to just be a spate of injuries in AEW. Mm. Well, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. I mean, what was the, what was the most simple thing that you got injured from? Because I know we've talked about major injuries before, but like just doing just the smallest thing has resulted in something that's put you out for weeks or or really hampered you. Well. <clears throat> I never had an injury that put me out for weeks. You know why? Because you didn't do stupid things? No, because if I was out, guess what? I didn't get paid. So what you have wrestlers doing is working through injuries. Back in my day, you just tell a guy, hey, watch my arm, watch my leg, watch this. And, you know, guys would take care of you. And you could go out there and, you know, we could do a stand-up match, and you couldn't do it forever, but you could you could do it through an injury because you had no choice. So if you say your back was hurt, don't don't give me a slam, don't give me a backdrop, don't you know? Let's cut down on the, you know, you could still take a few bumps, but but they hurt, and you don't know what damage you were doing. There's no telling if you ran a, a scan on a wrestler. At the end of his career, his whole skeletal frame is injured somewhere. And doctors look at it and say, oh, man, you did this and you did that. And But, yeah, we live faster than the ordinary, the ordinary person on the street. 